Hello. Oh. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80 percent oh. humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. I feel like I recognize him. Wonder who plays him. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. Thank you. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. Good, Carl's on they our side. They can stop progress by roughing up a few androids. I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. Although... They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. Not sure if that was seeing us as a friend or just seeing us as, like, humanity's next step kind of thing, because he just called... seemed to refer to us as progress rather than just a new form of life. <laughs> wow. Definitely would not want that cat statue. I swear... Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. I could have sworn we just walked out the room and then turned around and came back in and got in the wheelchair. Mm. Maybe I'm being dumb. I decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Mm. You enjoying the ride, sir? Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, don't bother. Wonder who Leo is. Son, possibly? Probably. And away you go. <laughs> Wee. Oh, it's a stair lift that hooks into the wheelchair. That's cool. My god, it's a bit fast. Where are we headed then? I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Okay, I can't wheel in between the chair and the table. Should have figured that one out. I think we're a bit wide. Huh, okay. Wonder... I mean, if I hadn't got it ready already, I guess... I'd just go do it now. Up. We have the Marcus Special. Television. Oh, good job, Russia. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. Take Carl to dining table. Breakfast is served. Find something to do. Can I play the piano? I want to get my piano fix in. Quick. 
Quantic Deluxe. All right. All right, David Cage. Sit down. Ooh. What a choice. Melancholic, hopeful, intimate, enigmatic. Now, I feel like, just from what I've seen so far, Marcus is more of a melancholic dude. However, I just gotta know what an enigmatic piece sounds like. Oh, I gotta keep moving on the touchpad. Uh, it's this is the touchpad being super not sensitive or something. That was strange. Like, I was moving my finger really fast backwards and forwards on the touchpad, and nothing was happening, and it still isn't really. Oh, okay, I have to take my finger off every time. I was just like going back and forth. But that does not register, it's only when you take it off. It's a nice piece! We've become quite the accomplished pianist. I know I can leave, but I'm enjoying it. It's beautiful. Something has changed in the way you play. Yeah, I, I learned how to use the touchpad. It's pretty good. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself. Oh. And make your choices. This is a nice Decide relationship. We're taking care of him, but he's also sort of taking care of us. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. This is a good dude. Also, I'm glad I didn't quit because I didn't realise there was an end to that piece. I thought it was just an infinite play thing. I tidied up for you. Do I get brownie points? I could do with some brownie points. My favourite kind of points. Very chocolatey. Oh shit. Oh my god, that is cool. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. Sheet. <laughs> I'm curious as to how pulling that on that side opened the one on the left side too. But you know what? We'll go with it. Ah, okay, I did miss some stuff. Maybe I missed a lot of stuff. That's not something that needs cleaning, okay. My bad. Okay, how about over here? Oh no, wait for new instructions, okie doke. Man, this is a nice place. I guess he's made a fortune with his paintings. Congrats, sir. 
You've surpassed yourself. I call it different shades of blue. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? Oh, a strong round of applause. Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. How long have I been here? Give it a try. I feel like I must have already tried some painting if I've been here a while. Painting and from their relationship, you want. it seems like I have Give been. It a try. <sighs> Let's paint a lovely picture of an elderly dude in a wheelchair getting murdered. I wonder if that'll set any alarm bells ringing. <laughs> but no, we're a nice guy. Find a subject to paint. Paint statue, paint desk. Can we paint Carl? No? Paint Carl's painting. I mean, what if we do it better than Carl? I mean, we've got to try, right? I mean, could we do it better than Carl? We are like a, an android, so we are kind of gifted, but... Or maybe that we just do an ex copy. ah okay we do an exact one to one recreation. Reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Fair Carl, point. I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go try it. Grab that canvas. Okay. We're going for round two. I wonder if I don't paint that then. Do I wonder what happens. If he makes eyes. me do a second one. Close your eyes. Or maybe he just says like, no, that's Trust an exact me. copy of whatever the thing I'm painting is. Closing eyes protocol activate. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist. Something you've never seen. Now concentrate. I mean. On how it makes you feel. Is that possible? And let your hand drift across the canvas. Can you think of something that you haven't seen? Everything you think about is something you've seen, isn't it? Androids, humanity, identity. Identity. Uh, ooh. I don't feel like I'm a prisoner here. I mean, most androids seem to be, this seems to be a much better position. I mean, he still is living a servant life, but. Let's just go with identity and androids. I'm very curious to see what we're going to have at the end here. Ah, survey says. Ooh. Oh my god. Hi. Is this Leo? Hey, Dad. Leo. It is. It is the sun. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? Initial impression. Leo is a tool. You're all right. You don't look so good. Oh, you yeah, look a yeah. bit jacked oh. up. Hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No. no. Don't lie to me, Leo. What it's difference right. does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sure seems like you want something. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. 
<laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's he got that I don't? Painting skill. Smarter. Yeah. More obedient. That too. Not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Okay, we're flashing enough. red now. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Don't let the door hit you on your way out. Okay. Well, Carl. I think we need to get your son into therapy. The painter. My god, look at all this. Okay, so it always ends with Leo intruding. Let's have a look. Carl notices Marcus's clothes is only in 70%. I guess that's because 30% didn't uh, get roughed up, I suppose. 42% on the piano. Enigmatic. Okay, most... Pardon me, another hiccup. Most people went for hopeful. I was in the minority for copying the painting. Then we painted from the heart. Identity was the vast majority. And then androids was... No, androids was second bottom. Doubts was the top. I would be... I, I almost went for doubts. But there, there were two other possibilities. Interesting. Who are we now? I'd like to go back to being Connor. Because we haven't been him for a while now. Hooray! We're Connor. <laughs> Mr. Coin Flip 9000. No androids allowed. Owners will be prosecuted. Wow. Okay, so this, like, the more I see of this world, the worse it seems. Very discriminatory, but, like, it's weird, because why... Is it just the government that likes the androids, then? Or, because, otherwise, it seems like androids are very universally hated, but if that were the case, then they just wouldn't exist, right? They'd stop being made, they'd be decommissioned, so... There must be a sizable amount of people that does appreciate androids. As a police android, am I allowed in here? Do I get to bypass? I mean, obviously I've come in anyway, but... Scan faces... No face detected... Oh, right, okay, I just need to... Mismatch. All right, Derek. No criminal criminal record for either of them. What about you, sir? That hat makes you look like a criminal. Driving under the influence. Unemployed. Sorry to hear that. Can't really get that dude. Man, is everyone unemployed? It's seeming that way. Apart from the bartender, because uh, he is tending the bar. Domestic abuse. Okay. Keep an eye on him. Narcotics supplier and his best friend, the no criminal record. Okay. Well, you just spoiled my fucking joke there, game. How dare you? Can I do anything with the console? Nope. <laughs> I don't know my identity. No, okay. Looking sharp.
31% unemployment rate. When will it stop? Oh, and it says the exact same thing there. Okay, so... Can't really get a good look at this guy. Which means I'm guessing he's the one, so what do I do? Can I do anything at the bar? Can't go behind the bar. Any access for me? Am I authorised as the popo? No? Am I missing something here? I'm not seeing it any thing else. Or can I see his face from like down here? Oh, I can. Okay. Hank Anderson. There we go. Lieutenant Anders. My name is Connor. And I just yeah, teleported yeah, from your left-hand side Marsh. to your right. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a CyberLife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. Oh, good. Just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. You're one of them. Reason, threat, and understanding persist. Listen. That's I think reason. you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. I definitely recognize this dude, too. Is this the dude that was in uh, Daredevil and the Punisher? I understand that some I think people it was. are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Spill his drink. Oh, boy. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. I would love say? to do that, but... Uh... Bartender? I'm clearly Say not again, that kind please. of person. See that Jim wonders the technology. Make it a double. So we just we improved our relationship up to neutral. That's good. That is some good shit. Oh. Did you say homicide? I sure did, bud. Okay, I think he's my favorite, Connor. Get your black rollies out. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Interesting taste of music. Patient, firm, diplomatic. My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen. I don't give a fuck about your instructions. Okay, that improved our relationship. I, I wasn't sure here. if it would. So you shut the fuck up and you wait here. Conflicting orders. Selecting priority. Oh, boy. I guess I could have just stayed in the car, but... I mean, I'm not, I'm not fucking staying in the car. Are you serious? Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. Oh, good. He changed his mind then. What part of stay in the car didn't you understand? The stay in the car bit. Order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. Use our one to switch the camera angle. Yay! He went for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Oh, good. Can I see? Please let me see. Jesus. Oh, okay. It was even worse before we opened the windows. I am alive. The victim's name's Incorrect. Carlos Ortiz. 